Salut Alors, vous êtes de retour et je voudrais vous offrir des idées pour vous préparer à l'examen qui s'approche euh, très rapidement maintenant. Ok. So, the exam is coming around very, very closely now. So, I thought I'd just make a little recording for you to point you to some things that I expect you to do before the exam comes. So, we're going to have to mediate our communications through Moodle, um, as I've already mentioned in my announcement. Um, I won't be teaching this week or next week now. So, I will be very present in Moodle and I will get back to you very quickly. Now, I just thought I'd point out to you some of the ways that Moodle can help you find out what needs to be done. I don't know whether you've noticed that these little boxes at the right hand side of Moodle show a tick once you have visited an activity. So you should very quickly be able to see which activities you have yet to do. Obviously, you don't need to go back and do everything from the beginning of the year, but there are certain things I, I would like you to prioritize. So let's come to this activities block on the right here, because that's a very quick way in to find resources that you need to complete. The first of these I'd like to point out are the quizzes. So if I come through the quizzes, you'll see on your screen how many attempts on each of these quizzes you've made. Um, I really recommend that you do the reading practice ones as many times as it takes to understand them because when they're timed and they will increase your ability to respond quickly and they should help uh, develop your reading skill. So do use those quizzes, they're really um, a useful way of finding your way around um, the reading and preparing yourself for the reading. The other activities I really want you to focus on are the assignments. Now, you can see here from the numbers of submissions that the numbers are very low for the latest assignments. Now, I don't think you'll have time to go back and do everything that you haven't yet done. So I'd like to draw your attention to two assignments in particular. Um, the writing task assignments which are in um, April 22nd week. Um, so far, nobody has submitted those. Now that gives you very clear preparation for the exam. So I would like everybody to submit um, the writing tasks between now and obviously, please leave me enough time to mark and give you feedback before the exam. So your target there really is to get them done in the next fortnight. I use the time that you would normally be in class with me. Um, so you have three hours next week. Um, so plenty of time that you could uh, dedicate to getting that writing task written and submitted. Um, I will return it with a mark that is exam based. So it will give you direct feedback as to where you are in preparation for the exam. Um, and the other important um, assignment, and six of you have done this already, is the Devoir Semaine set. And this is preparation for the speaking. So these are short paragraph answers on a selection of speaking um, topics. So again, try and get that done in time for your oral appointment. Give me time to mark it and get it back to you. Um, the oral exams are the second week of May, so, so it's the 14th and 15th, I think. So you'll have um, time to do that and to get it submitted and returned to me. Okay, so really important things to focus on there. And I hope you'll find it um, possible to get those done and back to me as soon as you can. Great. OK, so I'm going to just point out, let's just jump to the revision work that I've just set up for you. 
Um, now, of here, there's there's lots of these are lots of consolidation exercises. Um, so they shouldn't take you very long to do. But the one area that is uh, that we haven't spent much time on and uh, that can potentially extend what you say and what you read is this area of idiomatic expressions, this expression idiomatique. So what are they all about? Let's just show you um, one of those two sets of resources. So this one, um, although it... I mean, unfortunately, it does make a, a um, do a good publicity job for a particular app. Um, but I've, I've, I've scrolled through all of that. Here's some common and highly useful French idioms. So these are expressions that we use in the same way as we all do in our own languages um, that are well known expressions. So in England, if it rains a lot, we say it's raining cats and dogs one of the expressions we use to talk about the weather in the UK. There are others. Um, so these are um, little expressions. So something that's very exp expensive, for example, coûter les yeux de la tête. J'ai acheté, par exemple, j'ai acheté un nouveau laptop. Mais oh, qu'est-ce que c'était cher. Ça m'a coûté les yeux de la tête. Okay, something that's really expensive. In English, we say it costs an arm and a leg. In French, it costs the it costs the eyes in your head. <laughs> you can see some others that may be more or less relevant to you according to uh, your preferred leisure activities. Faire la grasse matinée to sleep in. Le coup de foudre, which is less an idiom and more a phenomenon in French. This is um, coup, le coup de foudre literally is a, um, a lightning strike, but it refers to love at first sight. Quand je l'ai vu, c'était le coup de foudre. Quand je t'ai vu pour la première fois, c'était le coup de foudre. Okay. So to express a particularly um, important meeting or significant meeting, perhaps. Um, we've even got an expression here for standing someone up. Poser un lapin à quelqu'un. So you may have had a few rabbits over Easter, but if you waited for somebody and they didn't arrive, in French that's referring, that's referred to as um, putting a rabbit on somebody. Elle m'a posé un lapin. She never arrived. Elle m'a posé un lapin. So there's a few there. You don't need to know them all, but it's quite useful to have a few in your repertoire, um, particularly for your writing, but maybe also for your speaking. Um, the other set of um, resources that I've added for the last two weeks are here, they include my Quizlet sets, so you could even get together if you want to and Quizlet live yourself, presumably. Um, but you can use your Quizlets to revise vocabulary. Um, I've focused on additional resources for pronouns because pronouns were an area that people were worried about, although the work that's come through over the holidays um, has been very impressive in terms of use of pronouns. So clearly some of you have done a lot of work in that area. And there are some more timed quizzes there as well to help you get faster um, because the time pressure of an exam is obviously um, an area you need to prepare for. Um, some advice on the speaking. If you're anxious about the oral, um, then do read the speaking tips through and do get in touch because although I may not be um, teaching at the usual times, I will be in the office and I will be around during the next two weeks. Um, so if you want to come and see me, do email me and from there we'll be able to find a time and uh, make an arrangement to meet. OK, so let's use Moodle to connect and to keep in touch. Do record yourself as well. If you're going to do some preparation for your speaking, you can 
record yourself and send me either a, an mp3 file or share through soundcloud or whatever um, tool you have um, and i can listen to that for you and give you some feedback okay alors préparez-vous bien il faut uh, revenir à votre français et uh, je vous souhaite bon courage et je ne vous quitte pas, je suis ici. Hein? Alors, contactez-moi si vous en avez besoin. Hein? Alors, voilà, bon courage. Ok. Je reviens ici. Bon courage et à bientôt. Au revoir.